Hey there, what's going on everybody? This is Daxon here, weaverfamilyfarms.com as well as noxide.org. I'm doing a video today that's going to be showing you on one of my WordPress sites here how you can um, change uh, one of the appearance features of your uh, WordPress site. Let me go ahead and, and uh, load up the website here that I own. I'm gonna, uh, internet's being a little bit slow here, so bear with me. All right, there we go. So we're going to be talking about how you can adjust the spacing between your widgets. Before, there was like a huge amount of spacing between all the widgets, and I looked everywhere, and, and it took a while to finally figure out how you can increase and decrease the spacing. It's actually pretty simple. Um, what you're going to be doing is going into a custom CSS file. In my case, I can go to Appearance and Editor, and I'm using the Styles. Um, the Styles. Oops, sorry. Um, I'll go to appearance and customize. You might be able to do it in editor if you have a custom.css file. Um, but mine's actually right here because I have the styles plugin which works here with many themes as well as the theme I'm using which is the 2013 theme. And you can see here I have an additional CSS spot to add um, extra uh, CSS. And now we have this um, code right here. Not a whole lot there. Um, let me zoom in so you can see it and you're going to be able to type it out real quick and try it out pause the video here and see it but here is the code you want at least it works in my case all right i'm going to zoom back out and i will show you uh how it worked so looking over here at the widgets it should show it to us here in real time if i change this um, for me i want it set to negative 1.5 um, you can see it's set to 10, change it. If you watch the widgets over there, um, you can change it to negative um, 3, negative 2, there's negative 1, there's uh, 0, and then positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. The spacing gets more and more. Like I said, in my case, negative 1.5 is perfectly how I like it. And then I'm able to publish or save your code. And... Uh, that's it for this video guys so thanks for watching hopefully it helped you out uh, definitely subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up on this video if it helped you out and leave comments if you have any questions or suggestions thanks for watching see you later bye bye